Now this is a, uh, feels a little bit off balance, but you know, I can burn it down before the show if I need to. Yeah, it's a little bit off balance, but it'll be okay. Yeah, so it's okay. I'm Chief Tui. My real name is Brian Hinton. But Chief Tui was a name given to me uh, over time. I was a line dancer. Then when I learned the fire dance and I got good at it, uh, they started calling me Chief. My grandparents are from Samoa, American Samoa. My grandpa and my grandma's from Western Samoa, which is the heart of where this dance was created. And you know, when I was learning it, I learned it from my cousin. When he taught me, he taught me really, you know, according to the culture. All my costumes, belts, headbands, everything is natural, you know, coconut leaf or banana leaf, tea leaf. I made it myself. The fire knife is what they call a magnifo oki, tooth of death. It really belonged to a female, to a lady. Her name was Nafanuo. That was her weapon. They would say, oh, when I killed this guy, I did this move, I did this, and, you know, I went around the neck, and then I threw it up. And it was like an illustration of how they won their battle. And that's where the fire dance comes from. That's how it became entertainment. As men and young guys growing up, so what they do is they add fire on top of that knife, that blade. So then they start spinning it. They call them the I Lao. I Lao spinning that fire knife. You know, when you're a warrior, when you're a fire dancer, the spirit of the fire hits you in your heart and you're just completely a different person. This thing right here was at the competition. It's healing now, but cut me open right there. Then another one from just goofing off, right there, right there. And then after, back here too. It's the Harry Potter. Harry Potter. Wizard, yeah. I never thought of the idea of teaching kids. When I was practicing, they kind of watched me, and then slowly, all of a sudden, they, they wanted to learn. My name is Isi Toro Oloa, and the name of this school, our fire dancing club, is Mawa Moon. He has three rules. Don't use other people's fire knives. Don't, like, fire knife without his supervision. And the third one is stay safe. not really just a regular coach, he's uh, almost like a starts going, go, 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 go. I feel like I'm making myself greater. <laughs> this dance is one of the most dangerous dance of the all Polynesian island. You practice very, very hard so that avoid the idea of getting cut or get burned. But believe me, you play with fire, you get burned. This scar right here, if you see that black line right underneath my wrist, this hook right here, it went in and it came out the other side. So you can see the black line here, you can see the little black mark. That's where the tip of the hook came out the other side of my arm. That hook goes everywhere. Look at my body. There's all kinds of weird cut. The hook went in there, everywhere. I mean, they just go in there and they're stuck there. Uh, burn. It's small, but like, still like that, you yeah. know? If it wasn't on fire, I think I would have bled death. I pulled it out, and because it was on fire, it singed the skin and stopped the bleeding. I almost died on stage, like a key. That spirit, you let that spirit of the fire enter your heart and your soul, then you're out there doing it. 
But if you're not allowing it to enter you, believe me, it will burn you, it will hurt you. The audience sees more than just the dance. They see your life in a flash. Just have that mindset of warrior. I'm gonna do this right now and not be scared or anything. If you know about the volcano that's been erupting right now in the big island of Hawaii, the gods of the fires, her name is Pele. Now, her spirit's still burning in the Hawaiian people's heart and all the Polynesians. Me personally, when I perform, I always feel like I'm embodying the culture itself. You know, I feel like I'm a direct representation of Polynesian culture. You gotta remember this, the beginning of life or beginning of anything is all from the fires. When the fire burns through the forest, that's when they clean up all the old and the new stuff start coming. <laughs> 